A family is upset about a Las Vegas funeral home that they say mishandled their mother's body. 8 News Now reporter Brian Will spoke to the family and shares what they say happened and are still trying to determine why. We went to Las Vegas thinking we we're finna bring our mother home and we we're finna take care of her and nurse her back to health. And in the end, we lost our mother, completely lost her. And I'm still not right. July of last year was tough for Lynette Gibson and Teresa Reynolds, who were in Las Vegas to help their mother, Willie Mae Wilhite, move back to Michigan. Wilhite suddenly died as they waited for their flight. She stopped breathing and they couldn't find the defibrillator for her. The family was referred to La Paloma Funeral Services to help get their mother's body to Michigan. Upon her remains being returned, the family says it was not in a condition to have a viewing. So we couldn't put her away the way that she was. We had to do changes and that, that did sit right with us. It's very evident that the embalming was not correct in this body. There was an inability for much of her body to even be shown. Behind me sits the funeral home in question about what happened to her body. And they sent me a statement that reads in part, they have launched a full internal investigation into their funeral home here and to the funeral home in Michigan. The state funeral board lists several complaints against La Paloma, one of which is a complaint by the family of Will Height. Their attorney, Christian Morris, says they plan to file a lawsuit. What's going on at this funeral home? Why is this allowed to happen? While her family tries to remember the good things. Anything to do with going and helping people with the church, mom was always there. And not the experience they were not expecting to happen. Brian Will, 8 News Now. La Paloma was recently on probation for five years from the state funeral board with complaints going back to 2015, including storing bodies in an unrefrigerated warehouse and allowing an unauthorized person to sign off on a cremation of a body. That probation expired in 2022. The incident happened last year.